Morning. Morning, Ramona. Hello, hello. Just got myself mic'd here. How's everybody doing this morning? Jeannie, I know. It finally feels like spring out there. Such a beautiful day. Actually get out and walk the dog hopefully today. All right, we'll start in a second here. <laughs> get some side eye from the dog back there. Okay, so we will come onto our mats, please. Join me. So my name is Mike. If you're joining us after this live stream, if we haven't met before, we're going to do um, a 30-minute journey into power flow this morning. So um, moving through most of the sequence, obviously some of those poses will be cut out, and we'll do um, some for a little bit shorter holds than usual. We're just trying to get in a full body flow, um, get moving, get breathing. And yeah, land on your mat. So come into child's pose, please. Mr. B, can you come to your bed? Come on. Come on to your bed, please, buddy. Lie down. Lie down. And just start in child's pose. I'm gonna, he's a little crazy this morning. I'm gonna put him in his other room. Come here. Come on. Come. of live streaming with a crazy dog. So child's pose, please. Take your knees nice and wide. Settle back onto your heels. And just land in it. Land in the pose, land in your physical body. Start to bring more activation, more intention behind your breathing. Long inhale. Long exhale. Full breath in. Full breath out. Again, a really big inhale. Press back onto your heels even more. Tabletop on your hands and your knees. Downward facing dog, hips back. Just land in your first down dog this morning. Spread your fingers and toes. Press down into your mat. Smoothing out your body, work with it. You're really not rushing through the poses this morning, doing them intentionally, purposefully. Ragdoll at the top of your mat, step forward. Grab your elbows or your biceps and let the upper body go. And in a shorter flow, just taking balanced action in your practice, right? Rest when you need to, work as hard as you can, challenge yourself. It's only 30 minutes, maybe pushing through a little bit harder, dropping any stories that you have about getting tired, actually listening to your body, getting out of your mind for the next 30 minutes. Take a breath in, breath out, fingertips to your mat, bring your big toes to touch, come up to a flat back, fold. Extended mountain, reach to the ceiling, press your feet, and fold, hug into your legs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Nandasana, step back, lower down. Upward facing dog, chest forward. Downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Hands and feet, press them down. Belly button pulls in, lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, squeeze muscles to bones, hop between your hands, flat back, lengthen, fold, extended mountain, press down, reach, lift your chest, and then fold, pull your chest to your thighs. 
flat back, long spine, chaturanga dandasana, step or shoot back, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, full breath in, full breath out, inhale, exhale, lift up, bend your knees, pause, hop or step between your hands, right away, lengthen your spine, fold, extended mountain, reach up and back, Uddiyana Bandha, belly strong, lengthen, and then fold, hug your chest to your thighs, halfway lift, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, chest through the arms, downward facing dog, full inhale, full exhale, building some tapas, the heat in your body, generate it, up onto your toes, bend your knees, Upper step, flat back, fold. Udgatasana, chair, sit low, hold here. Couple breaths in and out. Lift your fingers up, sit your seat down deeper, shin bones back, two more, inhale, exhale, last reach up and then fold. Halfway lift, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right foot forward warrior one, just the one breath, reach up, press down, Chaturanga Dandasana, breath, move through, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left side, use the breath, reach, lengthen, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow, up dog, Downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. And exhale. Couple more. Soften the joints. Keep your body malleable. Fluid. Under your toes. Bend your knees. Hug in. Topper step between your hands. Take a flat back right away. Fold, chair pose, fold, lengthen the spine, belly in, Chaturanga Dandasana, step or shoot back, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right side, warrior one, foot between your hands, reach the fingertips up, Chaturanga Dandasana, float, move with your breath, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, left side, breathe, expand the pose, warrior one, and then Chaturanga Dandasana, flow through, Vinyasa, the upward facing dog, downward facing dog, full breath in, full breath out, do that long inhale, long exhale, couple more. Up onto your toes, bend your knees, upper step, flat back, fold, chair, fold, lengthen, Chaturanga Dandasana, move with your breath, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right side warrior one, feet, core, Hands, wake them up, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow, and float your right toes. Try that on, up dog, downward facing dog, left side, press, reach, lengthen, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow, up dog, downward facing dog, full breath in, full breath out, lift up onto your toes, bend your knees. Hop to the top of your mat, flat back, fold, chair, twist right. Keep length in your spine, shoulder integration, draw them back. Work in the legs here, squeeze leg muscles to bones, twist the upper body deeper. So we'll transition from here to a crescent lunge twist. You're gonna lift 
the left heel, step the left foot back, toes on the mat, heel stays high, upper body stays the same, breathe in, bring it out deeper, one more, twist, warrior two, sink down into your lunge. Nice long stance, yeah, take up space, make sure your knee doesn't go in front of the ankle, try to avoid that above the ankle or behind, breathe. Soften the shoulders. Heat here, build it. Fire up the legs. Press down. Squeeze through the inner thighs. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Extended side angle. Come forward with the right fingers. Bring your fingertips to the ground or elbow to your right knee. Left arm up. Yeah, breathe in. Breathe out. Reach. And twist. Again, long inhale, draw that top shoulder blade back a little more. Take a breath in to reach up, and we'll move to side plank. So bring the right hand onto the floor, step your right foot back. You can have the bottom knee down. Of course, take any modification that you need to, right? It's keeping your body in the flow. A few breaths here. Possibility to expand, to lift. Find your biggest possible expression in the pose. Take a breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Lift up onto your toes, bend your knees. Pop or step between your hands. Flat back. And fold. Chair. Twist left. Set it up. Don't skip ahead. Feel the pose you're in. Yeah, even if you're in them for a little less time maybe than usual. Keep that engagement. Breathe in. Sit down, and then getting ready here. So the weight starts to shift to the left foot. Get light on the right heel, and then step back. Whoop, I slipped on my curtains. <laughs> step on your mat. Try not to land on curtains that are on hardwood. That'll be a bad idea. So crescent lunge twist. Keep the shoulders back. Lift the back heels. Being intentional in the foundation of the pose, right? Knowing where your feet are, knowing where your hands are is very important. Breathe and twist. Core. Fire that up. One more. Lengthen. Go a little deeper. Open to warrior two. Ground through the back foot. Set up your feet. Land in the lunge. Five breaths. Soften the shoulders. Breathe here. Full breaths. In. Out. One more. Stay. Extended side angle. Reach forward. The left hand on the ground. Left elbow on the knee. Right shoulder blade draws back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Couple more. Reach. Twist. Last one, big inhale here. Plant the bottom hand, step back, either knee on the ground or both legs straight for side plank. A few breaths, land, set it up intentionally and then expand into your biggest pose. Breathe in, breathe out, look to your top fingers. Drishti lifts you up, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Up dog, downward facing dog. Onto your toes, bend your knees, step to the top of your mat, halfway lift, fingers to toes forward fold. So feet a little wider, hip distance apart, take your peace fingers, scoop up your big toes. Let the upper body go. Just feel the weight of your head pulling down, lengthen your neck. Generous breaths. Working here to soften. You just create some tension. You build some heat. Let some go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Gorilla, stay here. Palms underneath the feet. So you slide that, stand on the palm. If you can't get your foot underneath, or sorry, hand under your foot, you can push the top of the foot. Walk here, just try and find a wrist stretch, yeah? Keep 
breaths. Really let the upper body go, holding on to any tension that you don't need to. Breathe in, breathe out. One more. Last one here. A little bit deeper. Toe heel your feet to touch. Bring them back together. Halfway lift. Fold. Sweep all the way up. Eagle on the right side. Right arm under. Right leg over the left. Hug through the inner thighs. I take a kickstand to support my knee on this side. You can do a full bind if that feels better, right? So making sure your joints are stable. Breathe in. Sit deeper in the standing knee. Again. Switch sides, sweep up. Eagle on your left, left arm under. Left leg over, steady gaze. Intentional legs, intentional arms, engage them. Breathe in, sink deeper. Inhale, exhale. Into center, squeeze, 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 and then sweep up on your breath in. Dancers pose, grab the inside of your right foot, kick back into your right hand. Create the stability from Uddiyana Bandha. Feel that pull in, belly muscles strong. You lift the heel, lift your chest, breathe in, breathe out. One more big, expansive breath, and then release. Take dancer on the left side, grab the inside of your left foot, back into your hands, breathe in, breathe out, expand by pulling in, by kicking back, take on your fullest possible expression, and then release. Move into tree on the right side. So variations in the legs in tree, you can take a kickstand, right? So that's like this, toes on the ground, step back here. It can be inner calf, Right, stability here, not locking out the straight leg. Make sure that that's got a little tiny micro bend too. Option for inner thigh, wherever you're going. Don't press right on the side of the knee. You don't want to be here causing strain to the joint. You want to be above or below the joint, hands at heart center, and then grow your tree. Any variation. Feel that lengthening with the chest. Press your left leg into your right foot. Find that connection. Squeeze it. Breathe in. Breathe out. A few more. Big reach. Grow your tree to its biggest possible expression. Take one more big lengthening breath. And then release. Switch sides. Set up your legs. Left foot comes up. Kickstand, calf, inner thigh, yogi's choice. And then from here grow the tree, right? Any variation. Find length, find space, find possibility wherever you can go without rushing, but moving with purpose, yeah? Breathe. Ground. A couple more. Inhale. Exhale. Reach. Stay for the breath out. Last inhale here. And release. Hands to heart center. Sweep your arms up to the ceiling. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Lower down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left foot forward. Sorry, right foot forward. Warrior one. Open to warrior two. Trikonasana. So straight legs reach forward and then come down. You can have your palm grounding into your shin, not grabbing, right? You're not like grabbing it with your fingers, just the palm presses down to lengthen the upper body. Grab a block if you need it. Just keeping that space. So from the bottom hand all the way across the chest up to the top fingertips, find space there, find length, stretch. Draw back the top shoulder, breathe in, breathe out. Again, stay. One more, twist. Pull yourself up to stand with that top hand. So we'll just switch sides with the feet here. Right toes turn in, left toes turn to the back of your mat. Trikonasana facing the other direction, yeah? So fingertips here. 
and then to the outside of the left foot. It's the same pose. Body is facing the same side of your mat. We've just switched the feet. Yeah, reach. Draw the right shoulder blade back here. Soften the knees. Make sure they're not rigid and locked out. In. Exhale. Spark your top fingers. Reach them up. Draw back that top shoulder. Take another breath in. Take another breath out. Look to your top hand. Stay for the exhale. Then pull yourself up. So back the way we just were before. So left toes, right toes turn to the front of your mat again where they were originally. Step this back foot in for pyramid. So both feet are facing 12 o'clock. Don't have your foot so far back that your heel's off the mat. Yeah, you want it in where it's grounded. Fold over the right leg. Let go of the crown of your head. Really wake up the lower body. So press the feet, draw that right hip bone back a little bit. Feel the activation in your legs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again. Hold a bit deeper. Come up to a flat back. Okay, very complicated here. We're just going to switch feet. Okay, and do the left side pyramid. So step your left foot forward, right foot back. Again, get that back heel down. Draw the left hip bone back so you're keeping the hips squared to the top of your mat. Breathe here. Fold. Release some tension in the body. Let it go. Your body just kind of dangling down. Not holding up the weight of the head. Let there be length. In your neck, in your spine. Come up to a flat back. Plant your hands, step back to low plank. Lower down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Settle out the knees. Step to the top of your mat. Come down onto your back. Take on bridge pose or wheel pose. Yogi's choice. Okay, we're going to do three today in total. It can be a bridge and two wheels. It can be three wheels, whatever you've got. Three bridges. So in bridge to start, if that's where you're going, you bring the heels where you can kind of graze them, tickle them with your fingers, and then lift up to the hips. Yeah. Heels press down. Triceps press down. And then there's that lift up through the chest, through the hips. Breathe in. Breathe out, higher squeeze through the glutes, the legs. Take one more breath in. Come all the way down, knees from side to side. We'll go back up for a wheel. If that's in your practice, hands by the ears. Feet, hands, intentional in your foundation here. Lift up, press down. Find your fullest expression in this pose, whatever it is. Bridge, wheel, maybe supported bridge with a block under the back. Maybe you've got some tricks in wheel, like just take advantage of this right here, peeking your practice. Breathe in, breathe out. One more lift up and then gently come down. Knees from side to side, one breath in, one breath out. Last one, go back up, bridge or wheel, whatever you've got, push down, pull in, express up into your biggest pose, inhale. Exhale, lift, squeeze, two more. Biggest possible variation of your pose right here. Inhale, and release. Supta Bada Konasana, soles of the feet together. Right hand on your belly, left hand on your heart. Close your eyes, and breathe. Slow down. your heartbeat, acknowledge your body for all that work. Just let it start to slow down. Happy baby. Round your low back onto the floor. Take the outer edges of your feet with your hands and pull them towards the armpits. You can sway gently from side to side here. as much of your low back on the floor as you can to help with this release. Stand our backs here for the rest of class. Take thread the needle, right ankle on your left knee. If you really desperately want to do a half pigeon, go for it, but we're not going to be here for too long. And stay within that 30 minutes. So being intentional and just focus on where you are. Feet flexed, 
in thread the needle, you pull that left thigh towards your chest, you push the right knee away from you at the same time. Breathe in. Keep your head and shoulders down. It's in the hips, it's in the lower body, that stretch, feel it. Pull in, push out, take a breath in, and out, two more, inhale. Exhale, really deep in, that hip stretch, feel it. And then really switch sides. Thread the needle on your left, left ankle on top of your right knee. Draw that right thigh into your chest. Activate your feet, they're not just hanging there, make them alive, there's vitality, and then engage that stretch. Yeah, so push out the left thigh, pull in the right knee. Just deepen. Three more, in. Go. Pull in. Push out. One more. Big stretch. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze there. Press your heels up to the ceiling. Lower your legs down a third. Just one leg lower, one last little bit of heat here. Hold it for three breaths in. Out. Fire up the legs. Fire up Uriana Banda. Take a big breath in. Lower down a third. Three breaths. Hold it. Just this one. Squeeze in. Feel that work in your core. Take a breath here. One inch off the mat. Look at your toes. Hold it. Inhale. Exhale. Strong legs. Strong core muscles. Take a breath in. Hold for the breath out. Knees into your chest. Nicely done. Squeeze. We'll take an inversion so you can lift your feet up to the ceiling. If you're going to take waterfall and you need a block, do that. Right? So waterfall, be pretty crony, is with the block under the tailbone. Should feel kind of supportive, not like it's gross or pinchy. Don't do that. If you don't have a block, this can just be with the hands. Supporting the tailbone to keep the legs propped up so there's not as much work happening. If you want a shoulder stand or a headstand, go for it. Get about 10 breaths. Whatever you're doing, just land in the pose and then express out in it. Right? So not just checked out, not expecting the practice is over now. So working for these last few moments, whether that work be in intensity or the work be in stillness and rest, still work actually be present to rest, actually be present to letting go of any distractions. Breathe. Breath as an access point to this moment right here, right to back. If you're in shoulder stand, you can move through plow. Let the feet come behind your head. Really press the back of the skull down a lot. Keep the neck active. Deaf man's pose, option with the knees beside the ears. You can interlace your hands behind your back and push your fist forward. Breathe in, breathe out. One more big stretch and slowly roll out onto your back. Extend the left leg, pull your right knee into your chest. Draw the right knee across your body for supine twist. Space in the low back, space in the side of your body, really help to deepen that twist. You can guide the left hand down the outer right thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. Come back through center, extend your right leg. Center your hips, they might have shifted over to one side. Grab the left knee with your right hand and draw it across the body. Feeling that stretch across the side body and the low back. Breathe. In. Out. So good. Squeeze and twist. Bring your knees back to center. Hug them into your chest. One last big squeeze. Pull forehead to knees. Hug it tight. And release. Final Shavasana. Just as important after a 30 minute flow as any other class you've done, so don't check out from it. Land comfortably. And then just let your body rest. Deep rest. Intentional. 
just again and again, choosing breath, choosing presence over distraction. This last couple of minutes. more of a sense of ease to your body. some movement back to your fingers and toes, wiggle them out. On your next inhale, take a full body stretch, reach up over your head, point your toes. Roll onto your right side, come up to a seated position, just take your time, roll through fetal position, come up to sit tall, nicely closed. Hands at your heart center. We'll finish our 30 minute journey into power flow with one home together. Take a breath in. Ooh. Thumbs to your forehead center. Together we bow and we say namaste. Thanks, everybody. Hopefully that was a good flow. I know I got a little tiny bit of sweat going, so just an option if you're ever in a pinch, you can always come back to this and do um, get in the 30 minutes while move your body. Keep staying connected to your yoga mat. Keep staying connected to your community. Um, keep nourishing your body and have an awesome rest of your day. Else is out there with me. I see some chat happening. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for flowing with me, ladies and gentlemen. Have an awesome day, guys. I'm gonna cut it off so it doesn't look like this is too long for a 30 minute flow, but thank you. You can still chat after I end the live stream, just so you know, if you have anything to say, let me know what you'd like to see, what's coming next. Have an awesome day. Bye now.